Today, we're, for our STEM activity, we are just going to learn a little bit about the heart. So to start us off, what we're going to do is we're going to find our heart rate. So you're going to put your fingertips up against your neck and you're going to see if you can find your pulse. You should feel a small beat, so you have to be very quiet for a second. Once you find it, what we're going to do is we're going to time, we're going to, we're going to have use 10 seconds and you're going to count how many pulses you feel in those 10 seconds. Are you ready? All right, ready? And now. All right, so you're going to take that number and you're going to multiply it by six. And that is your heartbeat per minute. So your heartbeat pumps the blood through your entire body. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how that way kind of looks. So we're gonna make a heart out of some water bottles, some clay, if you have it. If not, I would be an alternative because I don't have clay either. And some straws. You're going to need the bendy straws for this particular exercise. So make sure that they are bendy. And don't forget to keep the lids for your bottle cap. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make some holes in our bottle top lids here. And you want to make sure that they're going to be big enough so that the straw can slide through with as little space or air getting out as possible. So there's a couple different ways you could do that. You could do that with a nail and poke a couple holes in it. That is kind of difficult. So pull the nail back out once you're done and to get it the right size. Or you can use a drill. If you know anybody who has a drill, you can use a drill and then you can get a bit that has the about the same width as your straw. Okay, so you're going to make one hole in one lid and two holes in another lid. All right, and you don't really need to do anything with the third lid. It's just going to be open so okay so here I have two holes in one and one hole in the other and my straw fits really nicely in this particular size then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to grab your water bottle and you're going to fill it up about three-fourths of the way so you want to leave a little room at the top okay so you're gonna fill up two of your bottles with water about three-fourths of the way up and you this is where you can add red food coloring to make it look more like blood okay okay so after you have drilled the holes in your lids and filled up your water bottle you might want to do it a little bit more than half you're going to take two straws and you're going to put them together then you're going to put your lid on one and then on the other and then you're going to put one straw in one and in the hole of the other. Good, they should feel nice and tight. If they don't feel tight, this is where you can use your clay or you can seal, seal up any holes using your glue. All right, so we have one straw connected to the middle straw and then we're going to do the same thing with the other pair of straws you're going to put them together and you're going to put one straw in the last hole and the other straw in the empty bottle all right and there you are set up Okay, so the first bottle represents the atrium of the heart, and the second bottle is the ventricle. 
And the third body bottle is the other parts of the body that the heart pumps into, like the lungs or just the rest of your body. All right, so here we go. We're going to see if this works. So what, you're, so what we're gonna do to get a good view is you're going to squeeze the middle part and So there you have a working heart. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more and would like to see where I found this information, I have the link to uh, a blog below where I found some of it. All right, enjoy, have fun, hope you learned something. Mm -hmm.